Once upon a time, in a serene village nestled amidst towering mountains, there resided a young and contemplative man named Lee. Since his youth, Lee had been captivated by the mysteries of life, constantly yearning to comprehend the essence of existence. He often roamed the tranquil forests, meditating upon the beauty of nature and seeking the meaning that lay hidden within. One day, while wandering through the outskirts of his village, Lee stumbled upon a small temple. Intrigued by the aura of tranquility surrounding it, he entered and found himself in the presence of a wise Zen master named Master Zhou. Master Zhou possessed a serene smile and eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of ages. Greetings, young seeker, Master Zhou greeted Li warmly. What brings you to this humble abode? Li bowed respectfully and replied, I seek to understand the essence of life and the true meaning of Zen. Master Zhou nodded knowingly. Ah, Zen, he murmured. It is both simple and profound, like the gentle breeze that rustles the leaves or the stillness of a deep, placid lake. Zen cannot be conveyed adequately through words, but let me share a tale with you, Li. Li settled down, cross-legged, before Master Zhou, his eyes filled with anticipation. Once, in a distant kingdom, there lived a renowned scholar. He possessed vast knowledge and was esteemed by many for his erudition. One day, he heard of a Zen master renowned for his profound teachings. Curiosity ignited within the scholar's heart, and he embarked on a long journey to seek the master's guidance. As the scholar arrived at the humble abode of the Zen master, he carried with him a satchel brimming with books and scrolls. With great pride, he presented his vast collection of knowledge to the master, believing it to be the key to enlightenment. The Zen master, however, simply smiled and said, to truly grasp Zen, one must empty the cup of knowledge before attempting to fill it again. He pointed to a teacup and poured tea into it until it overflowed. You see, your mind is like this cup. If it is already full, there is no room for new insights. The scholar found himself perplexed, pondering how he could empty his cup of knowledge. He wondered whether he should discard his books and renounce his pursuit of wisdom. Sensing his confusion, the Zen master gently elucidated, emptying the cup does not entail forsaking knowledge. It means being open to new possibilities, unburdened by preconceived notions and attachments. With those words, the scholar had a revelation about the essence of Zen. He understood that wisdom lay not only in accumulating knowledge but also in being receptive to the present moment, free from the weight of expectations and judgments. Li listened intently, absorbing the profound wisdom embedded in the story. He realized that Zen was not a destination to be reached, but a path to be embraced, a path of mindfulness, awareness, and letting go. Master Zhou smiled at Li, sensing the seeds of understanding taking root within him. Remember, Li, Zen is not confined to this temple or any specific place. It is a way of living, a way of perceiving the world with fresh eyes and embracing the interconnectedness of all things. From that day forward, Li embarked on his personal odyssey of Zen, delving into the depths of his being and exploring the wonders of the world around him. With each step, he discovered the beauty of simplicity, the power of stillness, and the joy of living in harmony with nature and all sentient beings. Thus, Li continued to wander through the forests, his heart brimming with gratitude for Master Zhou's teachings and the profound wisdom of Zen that illuminated his path. In his presence, others could perceive a quiet serenity emanating from within him, a reflection of the profound understanding he had attained.